all about the zodiac sign Virgo. I'm Lamar Townsend. If you would like your own birth chart reading or tarot reading from me, please contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. I would love it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official, okay? All about, oh, and if you have any questions about my tarot readings or birth chart readings, such as how much they are and the format, uh, check out the FAQ section and the personal ethics section on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, okay? All about the zodiac sign Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury the planet Mercury, and the planet Mercury uh, rules communication, the uh, intellect, the mind. It also rules travel and things of that nature, right? So Mercury tends to be a very kind of adventurous, curious kind of planet, a very fast moving and youthful planet as well. So Virgos tend to kind of have a very youthful appearance, even, you know, um, you know, in their older age, you know, like a... 80 year old Virgo can look 60 or 40 years old you know Virgos tend to be also very active kind of people very health conscious people as well so they tend to be very conscious of you know the things that they put in in their bodies and the things that they put on their bodies as well <clears throat> these are the types of people who may be you know the types of people who tend to go green green or tend to like not tend to not like certain um, ingredients in their cosmetics or what so have you. Like, you know, these are those types of conscious people, you know. Virgo is an earth sign, and earth signs tend to be very practical. The earth signs are Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Uh, earth signs tend to be very practical, very pragmatic, very kind of doers, very kind of, you know, um, easily able to gather and... Uh, all gather as well as kind of put out their resources gather resources but put out resources in a very kind of practical methodical pragmatic way so that they get more back like the, the earth signs deal on the material realm right so we, we have to think of it that way it's interesting though because Virgo is an earth sign ruled by Mercury and Mercury is that very active, you know, as we were saying, kind of fast moving, energetic, very communicative, very talking, curious, you know, Mercury wants to know everything, you know, who are you, what are you about, you know, what's what's your story, you know, who are you, like, you know, kind of, that's kind of Mercury, just very youthful, kind of curious, wide eyed energy. Um, Mercury rules both Virgo and Gemini. Gemini is an air sign and Geminis tend to be more verbally communicative. Not to say that Virgos aren't verbally communicative, but the earth signs tend to be more reserved, more kind of. Virgos are definitely reserved. Um, Virgos tend to be a little bit shy, you know, interestingly enough, with that Mercury energy. They can also be very shy. Uh, Mercury energy can sometimes cause people to be very kind of fidgety and, um, like cause them to need to need to always do something you know so uh, virgos may be a little bit fidgety or you know come off as awkward in like new situations because you know a lot of times they don't know what to do virgo is also a very thinking zodiac sign so they think a lot okay very analytical um they have a very active brain, a very active mind. Remember, with that Mercury energy, that Mercury energy is very, very strong, okay? Um, these are very adventurous people. These are the types of people that like to go on new adventures. They like to go outside and be in nature and hike and and do those types of things and, do, and be active. And um, they like to... If they're not the type of person that likes to be active in the sense of, you know, stimulating that their, their, you know, five senses, stimulating that their, like, physical body, they're the type who likes to stimulate their mind, stimulate their intellect, stimulate their, you know, their ability to use their, their intellect and their mind to problem solve or figure situations out or... Um, use it to acquire resources or just use it for their own benefit or gain. You know what I'm saying? Um, Virgos are very detailed people. 
These are the types of people that, you know, once again, like to analyze things and break things down in small details, break things down in details so that they can understand it in a very detailed kind of way. Uh, Virgos, once again, have very deep analytical minds, right? So even when they're talking to you, like, you know, they, they could be, you know, having a normal conversation, you know, reacting, you know, very quick responses, you know, Mercury with that very quick energy, you know, very, very kind of, you know, passionate, uh, vibrant conversation you could be having with Virgo. But meanwhile, Virgo could be having like a totally different conversation in their head, their, their mind, their, 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 their mind, their brain could be going a mile a minute, like at, at any given moment, a Virgo's brain is going a mile a minute. And they're thinking about five different things at, at any given time at, you know, one moment. <clears throat> so Virgos in that way, tend to be very good uh, people who are great at multitasking, right? They're good at multitasking. They're good at, uh, you know, a lot of times Virgos tend to be very good with, you know, things being thrown at them, you know, and kind of dealing with it, you know, kind of things being thrown at them, you know, say like, you know, you're at your job and, you know, uh, you know, things are, people are just throwing stuff on Virgo's, you know, on table, on Virgo's uh, desk or table, like, please do this for me, do this, do that, I need this by this time, I need this by 5 o'clock, I need this by 12 p.m., Virgo has the brain to be like, at first, Virgo's gonna freak out and be like, oh my gosh, what are these people doing, why, you know, like, they're gonna have that moment, um, most likely behind closed doors, remember, these people are reserved, so they're gonna put on the front of, I've got this, and they, they have got it, but, um, Virgos tend to be warriors. They tend to um, be very self-critical and critical of other people, but more so critical of themselves. So they put a lot of pressure on themselves, right? Mind you, I'm a Virgo rising. And for those of you that don't know, the rising sign is your first house. And the first house relates to the self, your demeanor, um, your your career aspirations, your, your capabilities, how you present yourself to the world and how others perceive you, right? So... Um, you know, Virgos tend to be very critical of themselves and very hard on themselves, right? So, of course, they'll go through that moment of, why me? Why me? Oh my gosh, I, I can't stand these people, blah, blah, blah. But then they'll finally get, get to the point where they're like, I've got this. I'm going to organize this in my head. I'm going to do this, this, and this first. We're going to put this over to the side because this is going to take me way longer. Like, that's how Virgo thinks. They, they break things down into detail. And they formulate a plan to figure out the problem. These are the problem solvers of the Zodiac. If you have a problem, who do you call? A Virgo, right? They formulate a plan and then they implement the plan. They do it. Remember, the, the earth signs are doers. They, they, they execute things, you know. Uh, so they implement the plan and they, and they do it. And then by the end of the day, you know, Virgo is like, I've done it all. Here you go. Here's yours. Here's yours. You, you get this, you get that, you get this. Like, you know, and everyone's like, wow, Virgo, you really came through. Like, that's why we, we love you. Cause we can trust you with these types of things. Right. It's interesting, you know, cause it builds a Virgo's kind of inner strength and self-confidence, but it's also like, it's an ego booster, but it's also kind of creates a kind of people pleasing sometimes mentality for Virgo and I think you know um it's important to, for a Virgo to really break out of that you know when they when they kind of figure out what they're doing when they kind of figure out that people tend to take advantage of their kind of nice side their their doer side they're wanting to fix people and fix situation side you know um, this is the type of friend that, you know, you can count on to, you know, have some type of advice to give you, you know, like really good, you know, advice. This is the type of friend that will be a listening ear, you know, for you and, um, may even a lot of times give you unsolicited advice, you know, um, Virgos are those type of people where, you know, they kind of, kind of give the people that they love unsolicited advice to kind of move them along in the direction that Virgo thinks is the best for that person. And a lot of times, you know, nine times out of ten, that is the best direction for that person. You know, Virgo has such a way of doing it in such a delicate, you know, very nice, you know, kind of nurturing way. And maybe that's because 
their polar opposite sign is Pisces. And Pisces is such a, you know, nice nurturing zodiac sign, right? But, you know, um, Virgos have a, have a nice way of kind of gently pushing people along, you know, you know, the path. Sometimes, most of the time. A lot of times a Virgo will be very direct. I think you should do this. You know, you shouldn't be dating that person because, you know, but a Vir you know, most times the Virgos will be like, well, I think you should do this. You know, I think you deserve this. You know, like a Virgo will like kind of implement those seeds in someone's mind, you know, because remember, these are the psychologists of the Zodiac. They are the you know, the the therapists of the Zodiac. So they understand the psychology of the mind of the human, right? You know, so they understand, you know, putting seeds of inspiration in people and hope, you know, and wisdom carries them through, right? Um, this is a very thinking, methodical, analytical Zodiac sign in that way. You know, a little bit manipulative in that way too, right? But often that side of Virgo doesn't need to come out because it's a very kind of, I won't show, I don't need to tell you, I'll show you kind of zodiac sign, right? Um, and nine times out of ten, they're not going to tell you because this is not the zodiac sign that, remember, is the most expressive in that way. Like, they're not going to express, I'm doing, I'm going to do this. And you're going to regret what you did, like a Gemini would, <clears throat> excuse me, a Virgo's going to be like, oh, okay, that's how you feel, all right, well, I'm going to formulate a plan to be the best version of myself and make you regret your decision and what you did, and then they just do it, you know, and then, you know, a week, a month, a year from now, you know, they succeeded in their plan, and the person regrets, you know, whatever they did to Virgo, like, you know, um, Virgos are just <clears throat> very kind of sneaky, and remember, very pure and childlike, you know, like, very pure and, and, and youthful, you know, so they always believe that, the, you know, the best is yet to come, there's always better ahead, there's always something better in the future, you know, as you, especially because Virgos are all about self-development, self-improvement themselves, right? So, you know, their philosophy is, well, there's, if I focus on being better, then nothing but better can be attracted to me in the future. So I'm going to focus on the positive and be better, you know? So, you know, they're, it's a very forward-moving zodiac sign. Remember, Mercury's all about forward movement, very curious kind of, you know, you know, kids, youth, youthful, you know, youthful people, like, they get down, you know, they, they cry, you know what I'm saying, like, they, they have moments, but inevitably, like, a, a young person, a youthful kid, you know, a kid in general picks themselves back up, that's the great thing about youth, is that youth is that you have the energy, the ability to pick yourself back up, you learn your lesson, you dust your knees, your elbows, you know, your, your shoulders, whatever off, you know, dust the, dust the dust off, you get back up, and then you're like, okay, I can, you know, I, I can be better than this, I can improve, you know, I can ex excel, exceed the situation that I'm currently in, I can, I can rise above, right? <clears throat> so, and that's what a Virgo does, they rise above you know, and then they teach other people how to rise above, right? All right, so if you would like your own personal private birth chart reading or tarot reading, please contact me at lamartownsandtarot.com. I hope this gave you some insight and clarity, you know, all about the zodiac sign Virgo. Of course, you know, we could go much deeper, you know, but essentially this is how a Virgo man or a Virgo woman, you know, Virgo men and Virgo women are. They are just a very analytical, methodical, smart, intelligent forward moving youthful um active type of people okay um so i hope that came across the way i needed it to okay thank you for listening and watching subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification button so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video follow me on instagram and facebook the links will be down below in the description box okay see you in the next video all right